Durante casi medio siglo, París fue mujer. Una mujer inteligente, creativa, fascinante, dice Andrea Weiss, autora de París era mujer, retratos de la orilla izquierda del Sena. El nuevo libro, editado por Egales, es la traducción al castellano de la obra Paris was a woman, que fue una investigación de la autora y su socia Greta Schiller que llevaron a cabo sobre las mujeres que tejieron una red cultural y creativa en el París de entreguerras. La autora ha ganado un premio Emmy por su documental Before Stonewall. Fue guionista del film dirigido por Greta Schiller, una película estrenada en 1996 que pudimos ver en Barcelona gracias al descubrimiento de la muestra de cine de mujeres de Barcelona y que se convirtió en un libro. Dos referencias imprescindibles para la visibilidad, la genealogía y la historia de las lesbianas. París era el centro de la creación, pero la historia ha recogido las influencias y vida de algunos hombres, como Picasso, Joyce, Hemingway, en aquellos momentos históricos, pero no la de las mujeres, como Djuna Barnes, Natalie Barley, Sylvia Beach, Adrienne Monnier, Gertrude Stein, Alice B. Toklas, Romaine Brooks, Colette, Janet Flaner, entre otras. Creo que algunas de estas mujeres fueron la historia en pequeños pieces here and there, but there wasn't a, a history of that story. There were, everyone pretty much has heard of Gertrude Stein, Americans at least have heard of Gertrude Stein, um, but, uh, and maybe one or two others, but by, by doing the research on the less known women, um, I was able to uncover a real community. And I think it's a difference to have a community than to have just individual women who are part of the men's story, like Gertrude Stein is part of Picasso's story because she discovered him early on, discovered his paintings. But to put her in a community of women who came from all over and lived in Paris, uh, when you under start to understand the community, you see that they really changed the landscape of what we understand as Paris in the 20s or Paris between the wars because, first of all, they created the structures the salons, the bookstores, they created the, the place where artists from all over the world met each other. And also they supported each other because a lot of them could not have been artists or writers without each other. They supported each other financially, emotionally and other ways. Paris was a woman nos descubre mujeres impresionantes de niveles culturales y económicos diferentes y que en su mayoría optan por la bisexualidad o el lesbianismo en sus relaciones. Mujeres que han sido escondidas por la historia oficial de aquel París de los años 20. I don't know if I agree completely that it remained <coughs> excuse me that it remained hidden because I think in the 20 years since I've written the book in English, I wrote it 20 years ago in England and the United States, I think um, these women have become kind of iconic in certain ways, and this community has become iconic, um, which certainly was not the case when I wrote the book and did the research. So I can't say it's because of my book, but little by little, I think with the internet and also um, a lot of academic scholarship has been done on each of the women, Biographies have since come out on each of them. So I don't know if it remains hidden, but let's say it, it they're very well known in a very small circle, <laughs> you know? And in the mainstream, in the mainstream society, still pretty much unknown. Este retrato de la comunidad o compañía de Amazonas, como escribía Catherine Ann Porter en el Harper's Magazine, de escritoras, fotógrafas, actrices, pintoras, libreras, editoras. En un París abierto, experimentaron con la cultura y se apoyaron para la creación, de forma muy diferente a las aventuras que nos han llegado. París was a woman nos abre un nuevo imaginario y descubre una genealogía femenina impresionante que nos llegó en 1996 con la película, después con el libro y ahora con la traducción al castellano que nos ofrece la editorial Egales. Partly they're not better known because they're women and partly they're not better known because they're lesbians and partly they're well known they're not well known because they never promoted themselves the way the men did. Like they did not um, you know, there were men in that circle like Hemingway who were really determined to become famous. That was their goal. They were going to become famous. And James Joyce wanted to be the greatest writer of the 20th century. 
and Hemingway wanted to be, you know, known as a really um, great American author. And the women never had those ambitions and they never promoted themselves in that way. And unfortunately, because of that, they're a little bit lost to history. Um, one of the things that works in their favor, one of the reasons we can find out anything about them is the women who lived long enough told the stories of the others. So, you know, for example, Giselle Freund, whom we interviewed for our film, Paris Was a Woman, she was sent to take photographs of James Joyce in Paris. She was a photographer. She was sent to take, a, do a big photo spread on James Joyce. And she insisted that Sylvia Beach and Adria Monnier be in those photographs. Even though they, it was on James Joyce, no one asked that they be in the photo, but she said, if, if you're not in the photo, no one will remember you. And so some of the women documented other women. And that's how we know what we do know, but it's, it's not enough.